All right. The next company we've got coming up is Inside Maps, uh, presenting our George Bolanos, uh, Jorgen Berkler, Laura Pos. Oh, um, Laura Pospisil and Juan Lozanos. Yeah. Hey. Hi, my name is George, and I'm thrilled to introduce Inside Maps. Inside Maps is a 3D model creation solution that will disrupt the way we shop for furniture. Because today, furniture shopping is high risk. Let me back up. Who wouldn't want to make their room, their home, sharp? I'm sure everybody here has shopped for home goods and probably online. Online because it's convenient and because there's a broad selection of goods. But there's a risk in shopping online. It's just hard to see how something that you choose online or even in a retail store will look in your own home. So imagine you're on Pinterest or Crate and Barrel and you click on something that you like and you immediately can see it in your own home. How cool would that be? How useful would that be? The best way to do that is with a 3D model. But the challenge with 3D models is the current solutions available are just too difficult for homeowners. They're too expensive or they just take a long time. They're commercial solutions, so much so that less than 1% of homeowners use these 3D model solutions. So that's why I'm excited to introduce Inside Maps, the only homeowner friendly solution that allows anyone to create a 3D model of their own home with just a smartphone. Let me introduce Laura, who will describe how our friend Jane uses Inside Maps. Thanks, George. Jane wants to redecorate. She is shopping for furniture at Crate and Barrel and sees a sofa that she likes, but she can't imagine how that sofa will look in her own home. Luckily, Inside Maps is there to help her. The app guides her through a simple capture, capture solution, snapping a few photos of each wall. In addition to capturing the photos, the app collects, collects data from the gyro, the accelerometer, and the magnetometer in order to recreate the structure of the room. This takes Jane just a few minutes. She opens the link to her model and takes a sofa from the Crate and Barrel catalog and puts it in her living room. She adds other pieces of furniture from her personal collection of favorites. The measurement tool is also handy for determining just how wide her TV can be. For inspiration, she can look at the design boards of a crate and barrel design consultant. She can select entire furniture collections and rearrange it in her own room. Since the model is rendered in a browser, she can insert the link into an email and ask the designer for feedback. Sticky notes make it easy for homeowners like Jane to collaborate precisely with interior designers. Inside Maps democratizes interior design. Now anyone can do what Jane just did because of the breakthrough in technology in 3D model creation. I'll let Jürgen explain. Thanks, Laura. Hi, I'm Jürgen Birkler, CTO of Inside Maps. So how do we create the 3D models? We have flat images. With flat images, you can't really get the depth or the positions of points in an image. But if we move the camera slightly, we're able to determine certain things about the positions and the size and the depth of objects in the images. In our app, we use multiple images. And our app is specifically designed to grab the images that we need for the processing, at the same time minimizing the time to scan. In the, uh, in the images, we um, calculate the positions of millions of points. This takes several hours, but we have made some advances in our algorithms, so we're able to do this in a few minutes using GPU uh, compute power on the cloud. In the point cloud, we detect structural components like doors, windows, uh, floor, in order to recreate the geometrical model. From that geometrical model, we create a model that we can render with WebGL. 
Before I hand over to George, let me show you some of our development efforts. Since we grab not only the geometrical model, but also the color, the texture, and the materials in the room, we're able to create the photorealistic version of that room, completely virtual. Thanks, Jurgen. Photorealism is very important for us. We want to achieve such a high degree of photorealism that your home becomes the ultimate showroom, that your home becomes the ideal place to shop for furniture. Our business opportunity is to connect retailers with homeowners. And that's why I'm very excited to announce that we signed with a top 10 retailer that chose us because our experience will make them more money, it will help them upsell to new accessories, it will also help them reach new customers, and it will lower their returns. By working with retailers, and connecting them to homeowners and providing the ideal shopping experience for homeowners, we will revolutionize the $50 billion furniture market. Thank you. All right. Inside maps. Judges. So you guys have moved away from real estate into furniture, because that's what they pitched me a few months ago. No, real estate is a distribution opportunity for us. In fact, I'm also excited to announce that Ken De Leon, who was the number one realtor in 2011, is, has uh, endorsed or has, uh, loves our product so much that he's given us a, quite a few quotes to use and to publicly announce that he's working with us. But how do you get distribution from the, um, from the furniture uh, so retailers? Do they sort of get me to download the app and then I sort of take pictures and can get the furniture in there, or what's That's the right. process? That's right. They're a distribution channel for us as our interior designers, as our real estate agents, who all have compelling needs for a product like this. Um, just a <coughs> clarification, can you guys do paint and wallpaper on the walls and stuff? Yes, indeed. We left it out because we ran out of time. <laughs> but yes, we can. But that, what you were showing was the actual result of the product just from snapping the photos? That was... That's right. Okay. I mean, it's very, very impressive. Thank um, you. The only, the only thing I would kind of challenge you on as a business model issue um, is that this feels like something that would have been done before these opportunities to create these kinds of marketplaces exist on, on mobile. And what I mean by that is if I were you, I would try to do something in the, in the interior designer space where you actually connect consumers to interior designers and let interior designers begin actually designing these homes um, and you become that marketplace. Uh, I'd like to be able to just push a button in the same way I do with HomeJoy and get a maid to come and do this work. Um, it would be awesome to be able to really turn your, your business into that kind of marketplace, because right now you're a tool. And that, that a t the tool is not as interesting as, a, as, a, as, as what you could actually build on top of that tool as a, as a platform and a service. Well, thank you for saying that. There are a lot of markets for a 3D model of a home, and you mentioned a few of them. And in fact, the company that we're working with has design consultants, and that right now they put things in a truck and they go to that uh, an individual residence this is free consultation, and they show the homeowner how to basically, uh, how these things will look. Can you imagine the cost savings this has? And there are industries like insurance, there are other industries like first responders, where a 3D model would help. And so what we're trying to do is focus in on something which is, um, if you will, low hanging. And these are people who really have a need. And so you can imagine these people who are saving lots of money by not sending that truck out. Or these realtors who basically, you know, it's obvious to have walkthroughs in a compelling environment like this. Yeah. I guess the point Chauvin's trying to make and I agree with is that you could either sell a tool to the retailers or service providers or interior designers and firms and so on and so forth, or you could create a marketplace that would scale I see. and then make money of each transaction. And the latter is definitely a better revenue model than trying to sell it to. Forgive me for misleading you. 
We are that marketplace. The furniture retailer wants us to be independent of them because they want these multiple use cases. Furniture shopping or home buying mm -hmm. is not a frequent activity. And so they want, indeed, we're going to basically connect homeowners to um, uh, Yelp type services. Because when we're scanning a home, we know where the kitchen is. We know actually where those faucets are or where that uh, furnace is. And Angie's List just bought a company called Brightness that doesn't have a 3D model, and all they do is suggest home maintenance activity. So there's lots of markets, and we're just starting with the ones where the, the, the value of the home is most compelling. But you're absolutely right. We are a, a marketplace. Just, just to get a little more nuanced there and in detail, is it's not about it, like connecting that service provider the third, third party service provider go in and they do their separate transaction. What I think we're suggesting is you own that cycle, you take that transaction. They become your contractors. Um, that's the challenge. I mean, if, if that's not your ambition, it's, it's fine, I understand. But I, 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 I think that would be very exciting to kind of take what you've built, which is really impressive, mm -hmm. and then turn it into a service. Indeed. You know, I, I'd like to say that uh, just in the last week, Brian Toddy, who is a senior, former senior VP of Groupon, is one of our investors, and he sees that vision too. Tom Moss, ex-VP of, uh, of Google, is one of our investors as well. And so these people are interested in swinging for the fences. But we're doing it in a way which we think is, is, is uh, methodical, and because what we really want to do is scale customer satisfaction, and we want to hit that right. In, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just going to say it's going to make furniture shopping with my husband a lot easier because <laughs> he you. cannot visualize anything. Yes, <laughs> so. indeed. We, we think about this thing called imagine deficit disorder. 78% of people suffer from that, meaning most of us and probably all geeks. And so it's, an, it's, uh, it, it's something we take advantage of. Um, the first demo, you showed an empty room, and the second demo, you showed a bed which was abstract, which was removed at the final result. Does your product work only with empty rooms, or can I when I, you know, when I usually go furniture shopping, I'm only buying one piece? Does it support that use case as well? Yes, absolutely. So what we actually look for are feature points. And the more pieces of furniture in the home, the easier it is for us to construct the 3D model. And so, um, but you know, when I talk about the ultimate showroom, we actually know the distances between furniture and, 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 the, uh, and the 3D model. And so we will extract that. In the future, we'll provide a service for people to actually bring those pieces of furniture back in. But again, what we're trying to do is scale customer satisfaction first with what we have. We don't want to bite off too much. So and by the way, if I may, yep. uh, you know, Airbnb was another use case that people say it's an obvious one. But again, we're trying to focus on a few use cases and get them right, and then approach other opportunities as they come. All right. Great job. That was Inside Maps. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.